We won the championship in 1992, and there were 17,000 people at all three games. Incredible series, 17,000 at all those games. We were averaging 10,000 people at Rod Labor to our home game. And it was almost immediate that football came up with Oz Kick, our TV package, our newspaper. The, the, from, from that point, it was like there was a, a fist put down, slow down. You could just feel around you that there was trouble. And what the difference is now, and I keep saying, is there's, and I, I felt it the most when I came back from China, and it was COVID. There was no people in the stadiums. We're staying in these, you know, Albury, Wodonga, cans for two weeks, and the players are going, oh, how tough this is, and everything. And I said, hey, when I was in this thing, if this was like this, our league would be over. It would be finished. I cannot believe what they've done and how well they orchestrated their way through that. And you know, I go, man, there's a security around this. I feel that within this, the TV package, the way the games are presented, the organizations, the clubs, everything's stronger. And then having the opportunity to be in China, be in the Philippines, Japan, those countries around there follow the NBL and they're constantly asking, how do you do it? Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Get ready. You know, I always say, you know, Australian rules football coined, you know, we're Australia's sport. And I used to always think, yeah, you are, but we're, the, we're a world sport. You know, we have the attention. There's just a lot of positive energy about the NBL, about being back in Sydney, about where I am in my life and what I can, you know, what I can bring. And there's a lot of energy behind this. So again, um, excitement. <laughs>